So in our last video, we made our best ever home automation project that will help you to control up to 4 AC appliances and speed of 1 AC fan over internet and also able to control those appliances with the help of manual switches and IR remote. And that project comes in the size of just 96 by 56 mm. That was a really great project and that project was made using the ESP Rainmaker platform. So after that video, as usual, many people ask me whether that project can be used with the Home Assistant platform or not. And well, a couple of people also ask me, will it work with the Blink IoT platform or not? So for all those people who want to make this project run on their favorite IoT platforms, well, this is the video for all of them. So in this video, I'll let you know how to make that project run with the help of Home Assistant and Blink IoT platform. Well, this video only cover how to integrate that hardware with the particular uh, cloud server. It won't cover the complete making of the hardware and making of the project. For that, you can watch out the previous video as the reference whose link is down in the description. And with this video, it will be proved that our hardware is so versatile that it can be used with any cloud platform that you are comfortable with. So let's start this video by configuring our project. So now let's just start with configuring the Blink part of the project. So for that, first let's configure the Blink uh, cloud platform. So for that, you need to go to blink.cloud uh, website and here you need to log in with your account. After doing that, you need to go to template section and here click on new template. And give a template a name, I'll name it as AIOV3 that stands for all in one version three. Click on done button and we have successfully created a template. Now we need to go to the data streams and here we need to plot all the data streams for controlling appliances, fan speed and temperature humidity values okay click on new data stream click on virtual pin and first i'll configure it for the fan speed and it will be at virtual pin v0 maximum range is four now i'll be adding four uh, virtual pins for four relays quickly so after creating the four relay uh, data streams we are left with creating two more data streams for temperature and humidity so i'll create first of all temperature widget its maximum range will be 100 click on create button and last but not the least which is for humidity so i quickly type humidity here and its maximum range is 100 once again click on create button and click on the save button so with this we have successfully created the data streams now what you have to do is you can click on this icon and here click on new device select from template choose the template as AIO v3 and click on the create button and with this we have successfully created the template and the device and here are the credentials for that so i'll click here to copy it because we'll require this in the code part and now let's jump on to the code of this project okay so here is a complete code so first of all let's provide the credentials here so i'll paste them here and after that you need to install these three libraries whose link and version are mentioned in the code itself straight after that here you need to uh, make some changes in case you want to use this project according to your uh, use case so first of all here are the code for the ir remote data so if you're using the remote that comes along with the kit you don't need to change it but if you want to use any other remote you need to copy its hexadecimal data and paste that paste them here i'll be providing one example code through which you'll be able to get the hexadecimal code for your ir remote okay so change it according to your uh, remote choice straight after that you need to keep this pin numbers as it is because these are uh, defined as per the pcb design of our project straight after that you also need to provide the wi-fi credentials because this project will be controlled over internet so you need to provide the internet connectivity to this project other than that this complete code is written for all those logic which were embedded in the esp rainmaker as well like you can control your appliances with the help of mobile application you can control the speed of the fan using the mobile app you can control everything using ir remote you can also monitor the temperature humidity data in real time and it will work without internet as well with the help of ir remote and manual switches and all those logic is embedded in the code and i'll be providing this code so that you can use it for your home automation projects as well okay so now what i'll do i'll straight away uh, select the right board and right com port and hit the upload button and in the meantime like while the code gets uploaded let's just create our blink mobile dashboard okay so first of all i'll open up the blink mobile application and uh, here as you can see the aio v3 device is already created i'll click on it and here just click on the setting icon click on the plus icon and one by one we can add all the widgets okay so first of all i'll be adding four buttons for controlling the four relays which is ultimately four lights i'll tap on the widget and configure it for an individual light so this is for v1 and it will be acting as a switch similarly i'll configure all the three buttons quickly 
So after creating the buttons, click on the plus icon once again and select the slider because we need to control the speed of the fan using the slider. Tap on the slider, click on add data stream, select fan speed and that's it. Now we need to add two more widgets for visualizing the data of temperature and humidity. I'll select this widget here and I'll select the data stream as temperature. I will give the title as temperature once again. And now the last widget, which is again the same widget and this will be for humidity and i'll select the data stream as humidity that was it about creating the mobile dashboard as well now before i show you the working of the project let's just configure the home assistant part and let us see the working of both the platform at the end of the video okay but now before moving to the home assistant part let me thank the sponsor of this video which is very useful for you as well this video is sponsored by ldm and they came up with an amazing product called as ldm 365 so LDM 365 is an electronics product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAD, data management and teamwork. So with LDM 365, you can do the PCB designing task. You can share your projects over web for review purposes. It do cover sharing your PCB file to mechanical team so that they can create the mechanical product package based on your PCB. Then it also provides centralized cloud storage so you don't need to rely on one single computer for your files. It also helps you with managing your components and get real-time supply chain data for your components. It also allows multiple people to work on single project. And in the end, it also helps you with sending your design to final manufacturing units. So LTM 365 takes care of all other tasks so you put more time and effort in making something creative and useful. And the good part is you can try out its free version as well. I'll leave its free trial version link down in the description of this video so do check that out. And now let us start with this video. So now for the home assistant part you first need to install the home assistant server. Here I have installed the home assistant server on my Raspberry Pi 4 board. Now in case you don't know how to install them well I'll uh, suggest you to watch out my video on it in which I have uh, you know guided you step by step about how to install the home assistant server on the raspberry pi board so after installing you need to go to home assistant dot local hyphen 8123 and it will open up this page on your computer now here first we'll go to the settings and here we'll go to add-on and here will be installing one add-on called as esp home which is a great add-on for you know doing this home automation stuff using the espresso uh, based chipsets like esp32 and esp8266 after successfully installing this uh, tick mark on show in sidebar and click on the start button which will start running the ESP home add-on in the back end okay now before moving ahead with the ESP home we need to install one more add-on called as code server so here I'll just type as code server and it will install this uh, studio code server and this will be helpful for adding the additional header files for our code that I'll guide you while you know uh, pasting the code inside the ESP home so after installing that just click on show in sidebar for this as well and click on the start button so with this we have successfully installed all the add-ons required for our project after that we'll go inside the ESP home here click on new device and click on continue here give this device a name I will name it as AIO that stands for all in one click on next and here I'll select the chipset as ESP32 because I'm using the ESP32 chipset only click on the skip button and here I'll click on the edit button and here is the .yaml file that is kind of a code for uh, ESP home you can see okay so here I will uh, you know remove all this and paste this code uh, now don't worry I'll be providing this YAML file in the description of this video so you can take the reference of this uh, you know code for your project okay so here the uh, this code is for all the things like controlling the four AC appliances, which is written as written here, and also controlling the fan by, with the help of a switch. Not only that, we can also control the speed of the fan using the fan regulator. Okay, now this works with both the home assistant dashboard and the manual switches and manual fan regulator. Not only that, we have also written a code for you know sending the temperature and humidity data through the DST11 sensor, which will be updated on our dashboard every 60 seconds. Okay, so this is the perfect code for this project, but it has a two drawbacks as compared to the you know other platform that we have seen so using this home assistant dashboard you won't be able to control the appliances with the help of the IR remote because I didn't find the perfect packages or library for IR remote uh, functionalities and then second thing you won't be able to set the fan speed at level 3 using the manual fan regulator you can set the fan speed 3 using the uh, home assistant dashboard but you won't be able to do with the manual regulator all the other speeds like 0 1 2 and 4 you can definitely control with the help of the manual uh, fan regulator so this two drawbacks uh, are there for the home assistant version as compared to the other version okay but still this project has a lot of more functionalities so it's uh, 
okay to don't have those two features in it okay now here as you can see there's a red line uh, under ifan 02.h because we haven't included that header file so how to include that let me guide you so for that you need to go to studio code server and here go inside esp home as you can see here is the aio.yaml file so under esp home we need to create one new file so click on new file here and give this file a name as ifan 02.h you have to give this name only after that here you need to paste this line of code which i will also be providing in the description of this video click on control s to save this file and if we go inside the esp home on the edit button as you can see there is no more red line under ifan 02.h library because we have included in inside the same folder that was all about this code part now here we need to include the sid name and password but that is included inside the secrets uh, header file which is shown in the studio code server only so when i go to studio code server and here as you can see it's the secrets.yml file contains my sid name and passwords okay so you can change it here or you can also include that uh, sid name and password in the main code itself it's your choice okay so after doing everything now we are good to go to install this code into our esp32 board or a home automation project so what I'll do is I'll connect this home automation project with my Raspberry Pi board using a type C cable. And after that, I'll click on the install button here. Here select plugged into the computer running ESP home dashboard, select that COM port here. And now it will start uploading the sketch or the code inside our ESP32 board. So let's just wait for it. Okay, so it got successfully flashed onto our ESP32 board and it started running as well. Okay, so I'll click on the stop button here and now we are left with creating the dashboard for our home assistant. Okay, so if you go to the notification center and if you click on check it out, you must be able to see the ESP home device here uh, added into your what you can say integration. If it is not added, you can click on the configure button and integrate it. Okay, so now what I'll do, I'll click on the overview button and here I'll click on this three dots and edit dashboard. Click on add cart and if you go here by entity, you'll be able to see all the lights and fans appear here. Okay, so one by one, I'll select everything. So I'll select light one, light two, light three, light four, and also the humidity and temperature. And one more thing, which is the fan speed, which should be somewhere here. Okay, so after clicking on everything which I want, I click on continue and click on add to dashboard and if i click on the done button here i got the dashboard with all the widgets to control the appliance and also to monitor the temperature unit data okay so now we are done with the configuring like both the cloud platforms or the servers the blink and the home assistant now let's just move on to the installation part and after installing i just tested out the working of the home automation project with both the platforms so here, first of all, we started removing the older version of our home automation project. And after that, we started assembling the new version with the appliances and we did complete connections according to this connection diagram. After doing all the connections, here is the final look of our switchboard. Now this time, we kept the PCB project outside, but you can also place this project inside the switchboard along with its casing quite easily. Now let's test them one by one. So first, I'll go with the Blink platform. So here, as you can see, I'm easily able to control all the lights using it and also able to control the speed of the fan using the slider quite smoothly. And on the dashboard, we are also able to see the live temperature and humidity data. Perfect. Now let's test with the Home Assistant platform. Okay, so here as well, I'm able to control all the lights and also the fan using the dashboard. Not only that, I can also control the speed of the fan from speed 0 up to speed 4. And on the dashboard, we are able to see the live temperature and humidity data as well. Now let's test with the manual switches. So all those lights and fans are easily being controlled using the switches and fan regulator without any latency at all. I can also control the speed of the fan using the respective regulator. Now in the Blink project, I can also control those appliances using IR remote and can get its real-time feedback on the mobile application. Unfortunately, this feature is not yet available in Home Assistant version. So that's how you can write code for any of your favorite cloud platform and use our hardware to do the automation. Do click the like button if you love this project and the great part is we are selling this complete project with all the components already shouldered on the PCB along with the sensors, rotary switch, IR remote and a 3D printed case through our website at an amazing price. So just click the link mentioned in the description and get one for yourself right now. And you can also ask for a discount in case of bulk order through our email ID mentioned in the video itself. Now do share your favorite cloud platform down in the comment section of the video and yeah. That being said, 
I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video until then explore learn share with me take SMS.